On May 9th, 2017, Trump fired FBI Director James Comey. The timing and the official justification for the move bordered on the absurd and set off a firestorm of speculation and accusations. This is intentional. They want you chasing red herrings. He's waving his left hand so he can make his real move with his right. We'll get into that more in a moment. Trump is dirty. He's fully compromised, but not in a way that most of his critics assume. Both Trump and Bill Clinton were frequent flyers aboard the Lolita Express with Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein is the billionaire pedophile who got busted running an elite child prostitution ring. Victims testified that Epstein had them sleep with rich and powerful men from around the world. They also said that he directed them to collect information on these men. He referred to this as investing in people. Now we know from the John Podesta email leaks that Hillary Clinton pulled strings with her friends in the media to make sure that Trump rose to the top in the GOP primaries. This was referred to as the Pied Piper strategy. The heads they win, tails we lose strategy would be more accurate. Epstein was let off with a slap on the wrist, pled guilty to one count of soliciting prostitution from an underage girl, and agreed to settle complaints regarding 40 other women and civil arrangements. As part of this deal, prosecutors agreed not to bring far more serious federal charges against Epstein and not to charge potential co-conspirators. Trump's name came up several times in this case, and in a separate criminal complaint which accused both Epstein and Trump of raping a minor. The judge that let Epstein off with a slap on the wrist and protected the other predators was a man named Alexander Acosta. That would be the same Alexander Acosta that Trump nominated as labor secretary. I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Trump has tried to pretend that he hardly knew Epstein, but he made the following quote in an interview in 2002. He's a lot of fun to be with. It's even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. No doubt about it. Jeffrey enjoys his social life. Sounds like Trump knew what he was talking about. Now, Mr. Comey did behave in a bizarre fashion during the election. We won't dive into the details here, but if you look at that story again, in the context of a network of compromised politicians, royalty, and CEOs, one can make the case that it played out something like this. Comey was ordered to stand down. He resisted at first. He saw evidence of corruption. So levers were pulled. Bill Clinton's conversation with Loretta Lynch on the tarmac was part of this, but we'll probably never know the full extent. Everyone has skeletons in their closet. Very few have the integrity to do what's right when facing total ruin. Comey capitulated, but not before he demonstrated that he has a disobedient streak. This combined with the fact that he presided over the FBI during the investigation into the Lolita Express and therefore has access to information that could destroy Trump, Clinton, and ultimately a whole gaggle of well-placed puppets makes him a liability. Trump's handlers want Comey replaced with someone who's compromised and compliant with a spotless public image. Now let's get back to those red herrings. Trump wants the left to obsess about Russia. That's why he timed the firing to be during the investigation into Russian interference and right before a face-to-face -face meeting with Russian diplomats. He wants the left to focus on this because at the end of the day, they aren't going to find any evidence. None. Why? Because it isn't true. This was a campaign tactic cooked up by the Clinton camp. But then groupthink kicked in and the story took on a life of its own. People built media followings on the topic. Even comedians cashed in. The talking heads who are still pushing the Russian collusion conspiracy theory are either dishonest or pay absolutely no attention to geopolitics. After Trump launched airstrikes on the Syrian government, in effect strengthening ISIS, Russia immediately suspended its airspace agreement with the United States. Putin then moved quickly to set up a network of no-fly zones which the United States was banned from. Turkey, which up to that point was a key NATO partner, will be one of the countries enforcing these new zones. They also issued sharp warnings to the Trump administration and made it clear that they would be reinforcing Syria's air defenses. Trump, for his part, went from criticizing the anti-Russian narratives and covert wars of the Obama administration to engaging in exactly the same behavior in an even more aggressive way. Next up, Trump is moving a major occupation force into Raqqa while simultaneously escalating on multiple fronts around the world. Trump wants you chasing Russian windmills so that he can carry on with World War III. This also gives the talking heads on the alt-right who still support Trump an easy out. Instead of being pressured to admit that the man that they helped put into office is evil and utterly compromised, they get to spar over an issue that for them and their audiences 
is patently absurd. This is shielding them from serious questions about their journalistic integrity and their refusal to call out Trump for what he is. Time to start confronting these rodeo clowns on both the left and the right. Stop letting them pull people into empty rabbit holes while the most dangerous war in human history kicks off with hardly a murmur of dissent. And to those of you positioned in the alphabet soup agencies that can access the evidence in these cases, you need to take a long, hard look at the people you're working for. When the rule of law has been hijacked by abject criminals, there comes a time when disobedience becomes a moral imperative. If you want these ideas to catch on, spread them. You are encouraged to download, copy, and distribute this message by any and all means. This video is not monetized. You can support our work at stormcloudsgathering.com forward slash donate. You can find the transcript, sources, and original video at stormcloudsgathering.com at the link below.